<laughs> this guy now says you kiss a lotion. <laughs> you kiss a shower. <laughs> oh god. You kiss a shower. <laughs> this guy now says that Lord. I know person will give a shower head. Have you a lotion head? <laughs> I will give a lot your head. I beg. <laughs> this is a very, 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 very funny trait. This guy says, every Abuja girl that is on in message, Tinder and Bado is doing prostitution. And every guy that has those apps on his phone is looking for a prostitute. Nothing on a one tell me. <laughs> During my early days in Abuja, I had no female friend. So one Friday, one so one Friday afternoon, someone convinced me to download Tinder that I would meet interesting men and women that lived in the same area as me. I immediately downloaded, but of course I didn't download it to meet any man. That man decreased. I immediately started liking pictures up and down until I saw one babe that was just less than one kilometer away from me. I quickly messaged her and she responded almost immediately. And this kind of chat are they like? In the next one hour. We had known the simple things about each other and so of course the next line of action was to initiate a date for us to meet. Before I could ask, she was already initiating that we meet that evening. Aha, uh-huh. so fast, so good. <laughs> but I was broke that weekend so I wanted to postpone until next week because I had no money for fast food. In fact, the only one key I had was for dinner that night but this babe said she didn't want us to go out. She wants to come to my house that evening. My god never flops. I immediately accepted and gave her directions. A house was less than 3 minutes Okada from mine. I quickly borrowed my neighbor's generator and his DSTV smart card as my own don't expire. I wanted the date to be perfect. When this babe came, I wasn't disappointed. She looked even better than her pictures. She came indoors and we were watching TV. I told myself that I was going to be a proper gentleman and not make any move as this was our first date so I distracted myself by pressing phone. All of a sudden, I felt a hand on my thighs. I looked up from my phone and she was staring down at me with desire. <laughs> I smiled, I didn't pray for this, but as it don't come, make I take him like that. You know good when something where you know work for reach your hand and you can't spoil him. I pulled her over and three minutes later, we were both ready for the main thing. She put me in for one last kiss, then she looked me in the eye and whispered something I didn't hear, I didn't hear her well, so I asked her to repeat. Now thank you for short time. <laughs> what do you mean by thank you for short time? My whole body was on fire. So I know they understand both pidgin and English again. If you want to fuck, now thank you. <laughs> it was then that my eyes cleared that she was just a prostitute. I sat down on the bed and shook my head. I don't fuck up. Kai. I dressed up and she dressed up too. And I spoke to her. I wasn't looking for a prostitute on Tinder. I was looking for a girlfriend and I can't patronize her because I don't pay for sex. Not because I was broke. <laughs> sex for me had to be emotional, not transactional. We talked at length and she opened up to me about her life. She was an orphan, couldn't finish university because her father died. Came to Abuja to live with her aunt, but the aunt's husband tried to sleep with her. She reported to the aunt and he threw her out. So she was squatting with a friend and doing runs to help with the bills. She was a broken woman who really needed a job, who needed a real job, a good friend and all the support she could get. She broke into tears and I comforted her. At that moment, I understood her plight and felt pity for her. I pulled her close to me and hugged her. I told her I will be her friend and support her whichever way I can. I held her for long and somehow we started kissing again. This time it didn't seem like a business transaction. <laughs> This time it was it was real, it was romantic. I took off my clothes again and she took off hers. Then just as we were about to begin, I heard another whisper. As now you pay 5k. <laughs> As now you pay 5k. <laughs> After everything, see, oh my, a person can never joke with her money, bro. 
<laughs> and now you pay five k after you guys have won bonded and everything. You say me pay money. I beg. The first time I saw this video, I laughed. Shy, I'm on the I laughed. I cannot fake. I cannot just fake it. Like, e, 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 e. I cannot fake a laugh right now because God, I, I gave up my laugh. I gave up my laugh. The first time I read this tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I beg. Let's go to reply. So this guy, Duke of Victoria Island, says anything online with woman, I hook up straight up. I sell wigs and clothes, hook up. I do home delivery, hook up. I just wanna make friends online, hook up. I don't do hook up, hook up. <laughs> Uh, I won't agree with you 100%. Yeah. Nah, I won't agree with you. I sell wigs and clothes. No be hook up, bro. Ah, come on now. Come on now, bro. Come on. I know you're trying to be sarcastic, Sha. Yeah. But that I don't do hook up. It's just to screen out some. I, I mean, I just feel say that thing. Eh. If you don't do hook up, you will not have to put it on your on your page or your bio that you don't do hook up. You no go need to put them. There's an element of a copy in you, that's why you are putting that stuff in your bio. Don't do hookup. I've, I've been on dating apps where um, you put I don't do hookup, but you actually do hookup. It's just for people that know them most times not to, to come across their, 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 their profiles and then see like people that know them will see them on that on that site that it's widely known for hookup and they're not right. I don't do hookup. Just as a cover up so that people who know them or people who are not even serious will not message them. Do you get? you get <laughs> is that not what I used to do this guy say final final she is fun to chat with add up that's what they do for, that's what they do for whatsapp that one a pure hookup don't let them don't let anybody lie to you where someone there's someone or maybe a whatsapp tv or something where they post a girl's uh, uh, message link on whatsapp and then add her up she's fun to chat with oh more we know all those code rest we know all those code <laughs> Oh, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. See, eh? People, they do fun to be with, matured minds only, serious minded peeps only. I'm not always here. Chat me on, they put their number for ground. My guy, now hook up. You see, this hook up, who they talk? Hook up, they different from a shower, a shower different from a prostitute. Too. You understand? Hook up, now once in a while, something. Ah, I'm broke. Let me just. You, you sure you get no be no be a shower shower na every night hook up no be every night prostitute na specific times and specific locations <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> and this guy says every sex is transactional somehow if you no pay immediately you go pay him later it is says I agree to this every sex is, is transactional it has always been give and take. Or vice versa. Look, every sex transactional in the in the fact that even if she's your girlfriend or she's your wife, do you understand me? A man that cannot provide for his family most times he will never get sex from his wife. It's transactional in the sense that if she's your girlfriend, if you if you cannot provide emotional support or provide financial support or provide you, your time, your 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 time, your time, you use your time to pay. You. People think, see. Time is money. Why do you think people say time is money? Because your time is very valuable. Your time is more valuable than money. Your attention, your energy is more valuable than money. So you give that in return for, 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 for sexual pleasures even to your girlfriend or your wife and you think, eh, I'm not giving money. People have put so much importance on money that they forget about time is valuable. The time is to build a, build a relationship. She puts in that time too. But I'm saying either she's giving that time or she's giving that money or you are giving that time or giving that money sex you got to be transactional there's something that someone is getting for return for it from it sorry you get me and then this guy says <laughs> uh, where can I find this now okay This person says, I don't agree with you though. I have met really nice people on Tinder, make a no lie. I'm employed today because of someone I met on Tinder. So speak for yourself there. 
<laughs> then I said, now you easy speak for before. <laughs> ah, King Danzo says, I'm still here to see a man that got the job from, from Tinder. And the woman who said that first off said, if, you in, if you're intentional about looking for a job, you may get it. The point is that Tinder is, isn't about sex 100%. <laughs> and the guy asked, "Waiting be your work?" She says, "Good question. I work for a printing and publishing company here in Abuja as a PR officer." <laughs> um, the guy asked them, "They fuck for the I mean, I don't even understand that like, again. All of them are all cool. All of you, all of, all of you are, are crazy right now. I, I don't just get <laughs> this guy now says, "You kiss a lucio. <laughs> you kiss a shao." <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You kiss that shout. <laughs> Can I say that, Lord? I know person will give a shout head. I be a lucio head. <laughs> oh god! I will give a lucio head. I beg, my guys. Tell me what you guys think of beg, a beg, a beg. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let's move this. <laughs> Let's move this page forward. One love, guys. One love. Tell me what you think about this, a beg. Let's catch you guys later.